name is Al Auer. I'm a math and algebra instructor. Today, I will be talking to you about fractions. Let's get into fractions. First of all, a fraction is a part of a whole. A fraction is a part of a whole. A fraction is made up of two pieces, a numerator, the top number, and a denominator, the bottom number. Your numerator, the top number, tells you what part of that fraction you're concerned about, whereas your denominator, the bottom part of that fraction, tells you the entire piece of that fraction. Example, the fraction two thirds. Three is the entire amount of the whole. Whereas the part two tells you the part you're concerned about. If we were to take this circle and we're just going to say this is three equal parts. I know it doesn't look like it's three equal parts, but for this, we're going to say is one whole, is three equal parts. So, the two tells me the parts I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about this, this ratio, the two. The three tells me how many pieces I have. So, I'm concerned about two, but my total is three. So, this fraction is two thirds. To make an entire whole, I would need another, what, one-third. Now, I take this two-thirds, this one-third, I put them together. Two-thirds plus one-third gives me the whole. Now, let's talk about how we would add this to get the whole. Okay? I have two-thirds plus one third equal. It's important to remember when working with fractions, the only way I can add or subtract two fractions, two or more fractions, is that all of the fractions must have a common denominator. In other words, the denominators for each fraction has to be the same. Here, our denominator, which is three, is the same. So if I was going to add this, I would have 2 plus 1 in the numerator, 3 is the denominator, 2 plus 1 is 3 over 3, 3 over 3 is 1. That gives me one entire whole. It's important when we're working with fractions and we're putting them together, either adding them or subtracting them, that the denominator uh, be alike. It has to be the same. If two fractions do not have a common denominator or like denominators, we cannot add nor subtract them. However, if the denominators are unlike, we can find what's called the common denominator. And we'll talk about that in our next session. Right now, we just want to deal with adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. Remember, we said a fraction is a part of a whole. It represents a part of a whole. Fractions play a very important part in life, 
in everyday life. That's why it is so important to know how to work with fractions. So in our next lesson that we deal with, we're going to go farther in adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. But right now, what I want you to get today is that a fraction is a part of a whole. And remember, to add or subtract two fractions, we must have a common denominator or like denominator. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you in my next lesson.